So the summer's coming to the end and we're getting to this time of the year where the mornings are getting colder and the internet and Facebook groups seem to be full of people asking, what does this symbol mean in my car? And the problem is they don't understand simple physics. This yellow symbol is a tyre with an exclamation mark in it and it's from the tyre pressure monitoring system and it's telling you that one or more of your tyres are low in pressure. And when I got in my car this morning I had that symbol came up and on this car the tyres should be at 42 psi. If I look there they are all currently at 40 psi because I've just driven about 10 miles. However when I got in this morning they were all at 38 psi so they were all 4 psi under pressure. And that's because it was cold overnight. It's now 12 degrees and I've driven the 10 miles, so they've warmed up a little bit. But tyre pressure changes with temperature. So when the tyres are cold, the tyre pressure drops. And when the tyres warm up, the tyre pressure increases. So you have to adjust the pressure in your tyres to compensate for the season. So it's now getting colder, we're coming into the winter, so I need to put a little bit more air in the tyre. And then in the spring, as we come into the summer, I may well have to take some back out again. And on your car will be a sticker showing the recommended tyre pressure and in my case on this Tesla it is 42 psi but this recommended pressure here is always when the tyres are cold. So what does cold actually mean? Well it means you check the tyres and get them at that pressure when the tyres are cold typically in the morning and before you've driven because as you drive the tyres warm up. So cold is whatever the typical temperature is at the time before you've driven the car and warmed up the tyres. And obviously that changes with the seasons. So as the seasons change, you're going to want to adjust your tyre pressures. But there's no real urgency to do it today because tomorrow might be a warmer day. But as we regularly get colder mornings, I'm going to want to increase this pressure. So they're at 42 psi in the morning before I start driving. And then as you drive during the day and your tyres warm up, they naturally will increase 3 or 4 psi anyway. And if you have to drive to a petrol station to use their tyre inflator, you'll want to pump the tyres up about 3 to 4 psi more than the recommended cold pressure because you're checking them when the tyres are warmed up. Obviously that depends on the distance you've driven and how warm they are. But it's better to over inflate the tyres as it's easier to take some air out at home if needed. So the way the system works on all modern cars is behind the tyre valve is a pressure sensor and it looks like this. It's called a TPMS valve and that stands for Tyre Pressure Monitoring System. And that sensor sits behind the rim inside the tyre and that's measuring the pressure of the tyre and it's sending it back to the car. And this has a coin battery in here which is sealed, it can't be replaced and that's why these have a life of only 5 to 8 years typically. And these are activated by motion, so when your car's parked up and not being used, these aren't transmitting to save battery life. So when you adjust the pressure in your tyre, the car might not see the new pressure until you've driven your car a couple of miles or so. Because driving the car will wake the sensor up, and then the car can read the current pressures in each individual tyre. And if you get this symbol in your dashboard or the screen on your car, and you check the tyre pressures here on the screen, and one of them is significantly lower than the others. Obviously that's telling you you've got to punch it in that tyre and you're not now looking at just the little fluctuations in temperature. And it's the basic physics that people don't understand in that tyre pressures decrease as they get colder and at this time of the year it will often throw the tyre pressure monitoring system in your car and you've basically got to pump up your tyres to compensate for the weather. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do click the thumbs up. Also comment and also share this video if you think someone will find it useful. Okay, I'll see you on the next one.